we got another person here who was on the front lines, <coughs> fighting for himself, fighting for his family, fighting for you. And he is a teacher, at least for the time being, with the New York City Public Schools, teaches math, Ricardo Alexander. Thank you. Hello everyone, hello, hello, hello. As he said, my name is Ricardo Alexander. I am a public school math teacher. I've taught mathematics for the past 21 years. This is my 22nd year. I also teach physics. Um, I love my job. I love my students. I enjoy going to work every day. With the stress, with whatever pressures, guess what? I love my job. I love doing my job every single day. Um, right now, despite the fact that I've given 21 years of my service to this job that I love, I'm being told that after September 27th, if I do not take a vaccine or an inoculation, that I will no longer have a job. So, I just want to say that my experience, um, even before COVID came along, I personally, um, throughout all my years of, of going to college and university, I've always written a letter of religious exemption because I do not want to be immunized or inoculated by anything. I believe that any, um, any d disease that I'm faced with, I can cure by using herbs, um, by maintaining a positive attitude, positive energy, um, drinking water, exercising, um, getting sunlight, eating fruits, vegetables, um, and prayer, and prayer. Um, I've actually been a vegan for 37 years. And so I've decided I do not even use aspirins um, for headaches. That's my choice that I've made. Um, despite the fact that I have, I choose that as my religious exemption, for anybody, even if that's not your religion, you should have a right to choose whatever you do with your body. So the fact that someone is trying to use my job, my employment, my means of taking care of myself and my family, um, it's coercion. And as the sister who came before, she said it very well. I think it's important that even if you personally believe that you want to be vaccinated or inoculated, even if you believe that you want to take it, you should be here standing up to defend the right of any person who doesn't want to. And I think it's very important that we're not allowed, uh, we do not allow ourselves to be bullied and intimidated because the enemy's number one weapon is fear. So it's important that, as the sister said, all it takes for the game to continue is for us to stay on our knees and let them keep playing the game on the table. All we gotta do, my sister said it so well, she said, stand up. And I just came over here to share my word as a teacher, as someone who put in service, who worked in the middle of the pandemic, who was there serving, um, now I'm being told that I'm, I'm dispensable. And um, it's up to every single one of us to stand up, stand together, and say no to this. And I just came to share my voice and share my word, and thank you guys for hearing me. Alexander is here for us. He's on the front line fighting for us all.